Where do human beings somehow get this notion that you're special or better than anything? You're just another animal that occupies the face of the earth. We're all equal within the eyes of Creator, not just human beings. Don't forget, those animals, those creatures have been here for billions of years before you. So human beings have this pretentious attitude like, you know, uh, God is a man and if this is all just for us and this earth was created just for people, even though it's 5 billion years old and humanity's only been here for, what, 3.2 million? You know, you got to get rid of that mentality that the universe is created for you and it's just, it's just about human beings and their, their drama. It's not true. It's not true at all. You're just another animal that occupies the face of the earth. You know, you're not any worse or better. You know, you're not any more special or less special than anything. You know, don't forget, human beings are the only species that make all of the other species go extinct. You know, don't forget that. Look at the truth that human beings are the only ones raping and destroying and de just decimating this planet, poisoning the earth, poisoning the water, the oceans, the atmosphere, the air, the soil, poisoning each other, poisoning the food. You know, I mean, I don't see any other animal out there doing that except human beings. I don't see tigers dropping hydrogen bombs on cities, killing millions of people. You know, I don't see uh, spiders or birds using microwave radiation to neutralize people and poison the food and poison the water. You know, you got to get rid of this notion like you're somehow like the, 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 the pinnacle of God's creation. It's very pompous and arrogant to believe that. It's not true. You know, I'm not trying to make you feel less worthy of anything. We're equal. Everything is equal, not just human beings. If you want to see the face of God... Look at every face, not just human beings. Because don't forget, they were here before you. So how could this place be made for you if they were here before you? That's what I say. If religion were the word of God, religion would be as old as God. Would it not? And they always refer to God in their own Bible as saying, always was, always will be. That means source is eternal. But the Bible can't make that claim. King James Version of the Bible was published in 1611. It was a few hundred years ago. How's this the word of God? It's all just lunacy and, and just ridiculous nonsense. You got to get this notion out of your head that you're somehow special than all of other all of the other creatures that are for creator. You're not any better than them. You know, just because you have cell phones and internet and all that stuff doesn't mean a thing. That stuff is archaic technology. You think your cell phone is cutting edge? Bluetooth was invented in the 1930s. You think the internet is cutting edge? Internet's been around for decades, long before they gave it to you. Everything you think is cutting edge is reverse engineered, archaic military technology that they've had their hands on for decades. And then they put it into the public and go, look, cutting edge. There's nothing cutting edge about a cell phone. At the turn of the last century, Nikola Tesla already had the idea for a cell phone. In the late 1800s, he already said he wanted to create a, a, a device that he can carry in his breast pocket that was a form of communication. So he already had the, the drawing plans in his, in his mind ready to go, you know, for the cell phone. And that's just the truth. You know, I mean, he was the most amazing uh, single individual that is not accredited with anything, that gave us basically everything, you know, and... Um, they stricken him from the from the history books because he wanted to give you everything for free, free energy, free everything, you know, but unfortunately it didn't roll like that. But you guys have to stop believing that you're better than these other creatures and, you know, we're God's chosen. There's no God's chosen. You know, all of this nonsense about the chosen of God, it, there's no God's chosen. We're all chosen, not just human beings. You know, it's it's just that it's just that simple. You know, God gave Nikola Tesla an amazing ability called eidetic, eidetic visualization, eidetic memory, meaning he can visualize things in three dimensions and pull it apart. And he gave us all the technology that you take for granted. He gave it to you, but they ripped them off from it. They stole his patents and ideas because they didn't want him to give it to the world for free. It's just that simple. You know, and he even, even he realized that he had no use for human beings because that's why in his last years in his life, he was very related to pigeons. Because he knew the pigeons were faithful and no one ever backstab them. You're not any better than anything on this earth. You're equal to everything that creator has ever created. You're not worse or better. You're equal. You're not special. There, everything is special. You know, you got to really understand this. This is the truth. Trust me, long after human beings are gone and they, humanity will reach its terminus, 
the, the universe moves on to something else, you know? So just enjoy the journey, but stop thinking that you're better than anything or anyone or whatever. You're not any different than any other of God's creations as far as level of value in the eyes of the Almighty. That's what I'm trying to say. So just respect that they're here too, and maybe you'll see the earth in a different aspect and everything that occupies the face of the earth and in her oceans and under the ground and in her skies and in her forests. It's just that simple, man. You know, long ago, I was like, I'm not better than a dog or a cat. The way people treat dogs because they think they're they're above them. We're superior because we, we know how to start a fire and use cell phones. Yeah, but you don't see a dog destroying the world with poisons and pollutions and hazardous materials and toxic waste and radiation and all this garbage. You don't see them doing it to the earth. I don't see dogs making a mess. Everything they do returns to the earth. It gets recycled. I mean, they got it right. How are you better than a dog? You know, it's this archaic mentality that they fill your head with to say that you human beings are the superior, the coveted creation of all of God's existence. No, it's not. It's not true. You're just another animal that occupies the face of the earth. That's it. When it comes down to, to the primitive basics, the rudimentary essentials of what you are. The earth doesn't need you. The universe doesn't need you. This earth can function properly without you. How? Because it has done so for 5 billion years before you got here. So how are you better than anybody or anything? You know, you're not going to give yourself an answer because there is no, no answer to be given. You're equal. You are source expressing source in this form. And then when this form moves back into the earth, your soul will depart and you're going to go wherever you're going to send yourself. You won't, you know, I mean, either they're going to bury the body or they're going to make it into ashes or whatever you're going to do. But that energy will be returned to the earth. It will be returned to source. Even if you even if you decide to be cremated and send your ashes into space, that's still source. So you're never going to leave the body of God. So everything that is the body of God and of the body of God is equal. There's nothing of a greater or lesser value of importance than any other. We're all equal. And you got to stop thinking that you're better than the planet and better than God's creatures and dogs and cats and, and squir squirrels and worms and fish and birds. You're not better than any of them. That's why you live in conflict with nature. You know, you live in constant conflict with nature. You don't live in harmony with her for this reason, because you think you're better. Because you have a cell phone that's hooked up to an internet and satellites. How does that make you better? That only makes you bitter because you think you're better. They don't think that they're better than you because they know what the real situation is. They know exactly what they need to do, and they do it every day. Look at the birds and the squirrels. They're getting it right every time. Can you say that about human beings? Look at the collapse of humanity is about to ready to happen. This society is crumbling at a rapid pace. And how, how is it that you are better than them? Ask yourself that question because there is no answer.